Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's monthly plan with me. So for today, we're going to be setting up the month of November in my digital planner. So I feel so behind right now. Today is Monday. It's nine o'clock in the morning and we have had a really rough last like week both of the girls have been sick we have been getting very very little sleep because of that especially because of Julia she just has a really hard time they've been coughing a lot at night they both were diagnosed with strep so <laughs> it's been kind of brutal around here and on top of that I'm getting ready for a really big launch in a couple weeks and there's been a lot of work to do so it's been a lot of you know working late after the kids go to bed and then having Julia Julia up a lot at night it's like I'm just exhausted and I'm so behind with setting up my month and doing my monthly budget and everything so that is the focus of today today the focus is to get this video filmed to get my budget put together um, we need to take cash out for the month of November all that kind of stuff so bear with me I feel like my brain is not at all in a good spot to be doing anything productive but it has to get done so let's go ahead and get started so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on over to my November divider and we will insert the one month planner I've mentioned this before in my monthly plan with me is I like to film these in real time so you guys can kind of see the process of planning slowed down um, and then also I use a widget from the P2P library it's this month and I put just all of the plans for the month on that little widget and I'll copy and paste that over to my month if you've seen my monthly plan with me plan with me's before you know the whole process for that but um, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and insert my one month planner find it on my desktop and there you go that's how easy it is I am gonna film a video kind of showing how to do that so you guys can have more of like a you know a dedicated video for it but it's so simple you just hit this little plus symbol you make sure after is selected because you want the monthly planner to go after your divider and no matter where you're at in your planner you have this little back button that will take you to the very first page so all you have to do is swipe over and there's your divider right there um, similarly if you wanted to you can also hit page 10 down here and swipe over and that'll take you to your December divider because that um, tenth little blank page is the last page in the one month planner so um, anyways so let's go ahead and get started I decided to use kit 47 this is the Thanksgiving kit um, and I just love it I love the colors of it and everything so I thought this would be a really fun kit to use so that's what we'll be doing today and to get started I am going to go ahead and take a look at the color of that yeah I think I'm gonna use this washi up here I usually like to lay out my washi first I'll make sure images is on I do use good notes for digital planning um, in case you didn't know but it is my app of choice I know there's been some issues lately with it because of the new iOS updates and I've just learned to be patient and eventually those issues will resolve themselves it just takes a little bit of time um, for good notes to kind of catch up um, so yeah I don't know why that's not wanting to lasso but yeah it has been a little bit more buggy lately I've noticed that as well on my end and it kind of stinks but like I said it eventually will resolve itself um, it's just really a matter of you know good notes needing to catch up with the updates so um, and I think that's just a little bit maybe I need to make that a little smaller or I'll just I'll just um, assuming my lasso will work I'll just yeah there it goes I'll just copy and paste that again so it's the same size sometimes I've noticed when you zoom in and out it'll um, see you now why maybe, maybe the other end maybe it's just not a straight line maybe I just need to be less picky with it 
which I can do. So we'll just do that. We're just gonna go with it. Even if the glitter doesn't match up perfectly, it's okay. I zoomed out, it probably looks fine, but we'll see. So yeah, it's always kind of rough when kids are sick and stuff and you're running on very little sleep and then you've got a lot of work to do. It's kind of just a, yeah, I feel like that looks fine. I feel like it's just kind of a bad combination. <laughs> um, and yeah, and there's just still so much that needs to be done, but I will finally share. It's taken me a while to get to a point where I felt comfortable sharing, but it's looking like the release date for the big launch is going to be the 18th of November. So I just wanted to mention that real quick because I know a lot of you have been waiting for a date and that looks like when we are going to be launching everything, which is really exciting. We're definitely on track for that. I've already got two of the kits designed. I'm gonna be working on making some minor adjustments to widgets. Um, today I am playing catch up with YouTube today as well though so um, that's kind of the priority for today is just to get kind of caught up uh, because honestly I need to have my monthly calendar you know set to go and I need to you know have um, have my budget ready to go I feel like I feel like very unprepared <laughs> for the month right now, which is not the best feeling. So, um, but yeah, and then, you know, Jules, when she's in kind of like a um, more like needy mood, when she's just upset and not feeling well, she wants me and she wants nothing to do with Andrew. I feel like a lot of kids are like that. They just want their moms and, um, and she just, <laughs> I don't know, she's very vocal about it. She will tell me, mom, you, like, you have to stay with me. Like, please stay with me, mommy. And it's like, how do I say no to that, you know? Um, I just feel like such a jerk. I had to sit downstairs with her for a while before I could sneak up here to do this. Um, and then finally she, you know, started eating breakfast and stuff. So now she's sort of occupied with that. But um, I don't know, I just feel, I just feel really bad. Like. I don't really have a choice right now. I can't take any time off of work. Um, I wanna make sure to stay on track. I just, I don't have a lot of wiggle room. I have some wiggle room. There is some wiggle room in there that I did build in, which is why I feel comfortable saying the 18th will be our launch day. But um, I, other than that, I'm just kind of, yeah, I don't really have a choice. I am in 2023 gonna really focus on you know, having more balance, um, kind of building in a lot of wiggle room and giving myself tasks that can be done easily within a day so that I have the option to take the rest of the day off if I need to or to get ahead. And I feel like that's the, you know, optimal place to be. It's something that I think takes a while to, you know, to get to that place. Um, especially when you're brand new and stuff, it takes a while. And I just, within the last year, you know, hired help and stuff like that. The girls have been doing awesome. Allison's already rocking and rolling with cropping and compressing and um, with the kits and everything. And then Sharon's waiting on me, I feel so bad. She's waiting on me to get the shell of the sticker book done because it is going to be a hyperlinked, you know, split screen sticker book. Um, you guys know that because I've talked about it before, but I have to, you know, get that organized and get the links in the right spot and everything like that. So I've started working on that, but I can't really finalize it until the widgets are done as well. So I'm kind of just, yeah, today I want to get this video filmed. I need to get my digital plan with me filmed because honestly I need to plan my week. It is, you know, it's Monday, so <laughs> it is time to plan the week. And then I need to get my budget together. Um, even if I don't film the video today, well, I, honestly, I'd probably prefer to do that. I might make today just like a very heavy YouTube day. YouTube is something that when there's a lot of other things to do, like for Etsy, YouTube is the thing that kind of goes to the bottom of the totem pole. It becomes less of a priority. So if Etsy is more of a priority, then YouTube 
might fall behind or I might miss videos. I've kind of just come to accept that. I try to be as consistent as I can, but I'm only one person. I don't have anyone that, you know, helps me film or edit my videos. It's all me. And YouTube does take a lot of time. So it's just one of those things where it's like, I want to be consistent with it. And I think in 2023, it'll be easier to be consistent with it. Um, with like the new schedule I have set for myself and everything. But right now during this big launch, when there's just so much to, to do and to prep for the launch, it's just not as much of a priority. So, and that's just the reality of it. Um, okay, so now I've got all my date dots in. I love that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over so that I know what is going on for the month and we'll put everything in. So I'm just gonna throw this over here and you know what, I'm gonna make that a little smaller and I'm gonna put some transparent, a transparent shape over here as well. I'm very, very, very excited to finally reveal everything um, to you guys for the launch. It's gonna be very exciting. The sticker books have been so much fun to design and put together. Um, I'm trying to figure out what color I wanna go with here. I might go with this like more mauve pink. I'm kinda digging that, so. Um, but yeah, it's I'm so excited to use a bunch of stickers in the sticker book. So it's just one of those things where as I'm planning and stuff, I'm like, oh, I wish I had this now. <laughs> That'd be so nice. But there's a lot that is going to be involved with the new releases. Um, there's, uh, let's see if I can get that lined up. I kind of want that to be a little bit, I might, Now, why aren't you wanting to, yeah, okay, it's fine. That works, okay, so, I don't remember what I was saying now, but <laughs> there's just a lot that I want to use that are in the kits. There's a lot of extra stuff, I think that's what I was saying. There's a lot of extra stuff that is going into them, um, and a lot of extra like side like add-on type of products and stuff like that so there's just going to be a lot i decided i'm going to film um the video in pieces i'm going to put it all together but i'm going to film it in pieces because i think it's going to be a lot to like go through that all in one sitting so i think that'll be helpful i'm trying to figure out what i want to put in first i think i'm going to put the half days in first so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to use this lighter pink color for that. And we'll do half days. I usually like to just put in the kids stuff as um, like the first thing that I put in because I feel like that's the bulk <laughs> of what is going on. So, all right, we'll put half day there. And then I'm going to cut that, paste. And I like to use these like little blue lines. However, in this case, I might just, yeah, I might just put that flush up there. And I might move this half day over a little bit because I don't think that's centered. And then we'll turn images back on and I will cut, paste, and yeah, that looks good. So I like to use these little blue lines that you see surrounding the sticker to kind of line things up. So I'm gonna do that. I feel like it's just a matter of time before either the kids or Kara comes up. Kara really loves hanging out in my office. She's my little office buddy. Um, so I feel like it's just a matter of time until that's happening. Okay, so now we have half days on Wednesday, so I'll just go through and I will erase that. And then we have no school on the 11th for Veterans Day. So I'm going to put that in as well. And I'm trying to think 
um, I need to grab my essential scripts. You guys might have just gotten some sneak peeks there. I don't really know. I wasn't paying attention. But I'm going to grab my essential scripts. And no school, I think. I think for that, I'm just going to do this in the corner. I'm going to do just a little script here and just put no school on the 11th. So that's good. And then I have a lash fill on the 11th at 4 p.m. So we'll put that in. And I've been liking doing one of these. I might just split screen this because sometimes I like to look at the colors I have already used. So yeah, I might go with the pink again. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the pink again. Yeah, we'll do the 11th. And, and then I have my little eyelashes. So, I'll grab those. I'm excited to share all of the new icons with you guys as well. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, and then, I'm gonna use the font Extraordinary. It's one of my go-tos. It's one of my favorite cursive fonts that I use all the time. I'll do Lash Fill. I keep wanting to set up my dashboard with you guys, but I just, I feel like I don't have time. Um, it's something that I honestly have not been consistent with setting up either. So I'm hoping to change that in the new year, but um, I want to, I think, make those little eyelashes a little bit smaller and maybe overall make this a little bit smaller. Oops, need to turn images on. Then we'll resize all of that. Okay, so we're good there. We've got lash appointment in. And then I have an ortho appointment on the 18th. So I'll put that in as well. I think for that I'm going to do, GoodNotes works in layers, so whatever I want to layer something on top of is what I want to put in first. So I think I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do this darker brown here and grab my little tooth. I want to layer that on top. You can always cut and paste a sticker if you want to, like say I'd put that tooth down first and I want it on top of that sticker, I could just cut it and paste it um, to put it on top of there. So for ortho, we'll do the paper flowers. But yeah, so um, with the ortho, I have Invisalign currently and I lost my second set of trays in North Carolina when we um, when we went on vacation, and sure enough, that was enough to kind of like mess it up, um, mess up the progress. So I have to wear the trays that I currently have for two weeks, and then I should be getting my permanent retainer on the 18th, which will be really exciting. Okay, so ortho is in, and then we get to preschool. Preschool, you guys, I don't know. Andrew and I keep going back and forth on the preschool thing because we have Julia in preschool. She doesn't have to be in preschool. My husband is a stay-at-home dad, um, and he was just gonna use Tuesdays and Thursdays to like run errands and do groceries and clean and like do meal prep and that kind of stuff. We only have her go for part days on Tuesday, Thursday, so she's not there for very long. But like they have RSV and hand, foot, and mouth going around right now and I'm just like, oh man, like this is what it's like to have a kid in daycare. Like, you know, they bring home stuff, but it's also just the season. Like Maddie's gonna bring home stuff too when she's in school. So I don't know, we keep going back and forth on it a little bit. I don't know what we're going to do, but um, I guess we'll just see. So I think I'm going to do the mauve pink 
or do I want to do yeah I'm gonna do the mauve pink um, but yeah so we'll see we'll see what we end up deciding to do for that but it is tough that's for sure I think what I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put this down here and do my little trick where I uh, lasso them all and pull them up or whatever okay so then we'll do the little backpack I have a backpack in here that I will layer on top and and then I will put um, preschool and try this one preschool yeah I like that it's kind of got like a school look to it you know I don't know and we'll move this backpack over just a smidgen make it make it a little bit smaller Okay, and then what I will do is I will copy and paste all of that and tuck these all in the corners here. So they're all in roughly the same spot. And do one down here. And then we need them on Thursdays as well. With the exception of Thanksgiving, which I believe is that day. Oh yeah, Maddie has fall break as well. Or like Thanksgiving break. So I need to put that in. Okay, so now what I will do is I will take my lasso and I will just move all of these up into this corner. I want them to be like slightly down, so that works. And then I'm going to draw a line. This is kind of how I get things where I want them to be. And I'll turn off handwriting. Oh, and I don't need to pick up that one, so that's good. I'll just delete that here in just a moment. But I lasso, and then I'll tuck this right here. And then I will erase that little line. And this one here I can delete because, yeah. Okay, so now we have preschool in. So that's good to go. Oh man, and then we have activities. So activities, <laughs> I always kind of dread putting activities in, but honestly, like once they're in, they're fine. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll put in Maddie's Thanksgiving break first. And I'll do, I like to do just solid color lines for that. So let's see here. Maybe I'll do this pink and we'll put that here. I like to make it pretty thin and then I will stretch it out. And actually I stretch it out before I make it thin because when you stretch it out again, it kind of plumps it up again, but that looks good. And then I'll come in here and just make that pretty teeny tiny All right, so that's good to go. And then I'm going to do a little arrow, I think. And I'll do this dark brown. 
and I like to kind of just stretch like the arrow out a little bit. And then I'll just put in here with extraordinary. I'll put thanks giving for eek. And then we definitely have to make that smaller. Okay, that looks good. So Thanksgiving break is in. Good to go there. And then, let's see. I guess I'll do, yeah, I'll do activities. Um, okay, so for activities, I like to just use these little color blocks. You guys have probably seen that a million times. And I like to kind of color code. So I think I'm gonna use this kind of brownish color. I feel like we need more brown. Maybe like the dark, maybe this darker one. Yeah, I like that more. And okay, so on Tuesdays, Wednesday and um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have Taekwondo for Maddie. And then, yeah, um, yeah, so we'll just do that. We'll do, let's see, this little Taekwondo belt and paper flowers. And we'll do Taekwondo. at 5.45 p.m. And I will resize that, make it a little bit bigger so I can see it better. Change the color to white, and then I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Move this over a little bit. Okay, so Taekwondo. And then we also have piano. So I'm going to make the same, copy and paste this. And then I'll make one for piano. And I only have to make one of these because I can just. Copy and paste the rest. So five o'clock on Mondays. And um, let's see, grab our little piano here. And then I'll move that over. Still a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move, oops. I'm going to move this down, kind of line it up a little bit and move it up. And then Just do this. I'm gonna put these in the corner. And she doesn't have piano on all days, but that's actually, yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm having some major like brain fart moments over here. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're just gonna put piano on here. So it's Thursday. So I'll do these on all the Thursdays. And then on the Mondays. Okay. And then I'm gonna do Taekwondo on Tuesday. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm going to change the time on here to 4.30. And then I'm going to take my lasso and I'm going to copy and paste both of those and put them in that way. We also have Bible study on Tuesdays, so I'm going to want to um, put that in. I'm going to skip that one for a second. And I'll copy this one. And I will copy this one, put that above the Thanksgiving break. Okay, so I feel like it's a lot of brown, but it's okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lasso and I'm going to grab all of this and kind of put that where I want. And then I'm going to... Oh, this preschool is going to be in my way, isn't it? Maybe what I'll do is I will... Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a line. Like that. And move it down. And then turn handwriting off. And we'll just move that up and kind of center it the best we can. And then I will turn handwriting back on and we'll do the same thing with this. Um, oh, I didn't, I forgot to, here, copy, paste. I can just kind of center that the best I can. And then turn handwriting on, let's see. And then we'll turn handwriting off again. And put that there. And then, um, For this one, I'm just going to, I don't want to put that so close to the arrow, so I'm just going to put that there. Then, then, um, I'll start at the top again. <laughs> I feel like this is taking me longer because I swear my brain's just not working. So hopefully you guys don't mind seeing the struggle. <laughs> but that's why I like to film these videos because I feel like it gives you a good idea of like, I don't know, it just shows like the real, I don't know, it, I feel like the sped up ones, it makes it look like so easy. And I've been digital planning for a while now, so it's not like, I mean, I feel like I've got a good handle on things and like all that, but I definitely still have my moments, you know? Um, I would not say I'm like a pro by any means. I'm just, I don't know, I like slowing things down because I feel like it just kind of helps you to see the visual process a little bit more. So I think for this 4.30 one, I'm going to bring that up to here. And I'll we'll just do it that way. And this at least gets things, you know, kind of lined up. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, I'm filming. That was Andrew. Uh, 
Okay, so I think, I think that's good. I think we are good to go there. So all of the activities are in. That is a process to put all those in, let me tell you. It is a process. So Taekwondo is in, piano's in. Oh, and piano, for these ones, I need to change to 4 p.m. So we'll do that real quick. Where's my little keyboard? There it is. So we'll go through and change that to four. I know Andrew's waiting on me to put the budget together because he wants to go get cash out. He wants to go to Costco today. So I need to do that like right after I'm done with this. And then I think I'm gonna put my digital plan with me just up sporadically sometime today. You know, normally I like to have my videos up by seven, but that's just not happening lately. Um, okay, so then we have Thanksgiving break in. We have Bible study on Tuesdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is insane for us if you guys could not tell. It is nuts. Okay, so let's definitely bring some more pink over. And I think I'm gonna do this brighter pink. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the brighter pink. Well, and let's see what color the little books are that I like to use. Yeah, okay. So, I like to use these two-tone labels for Bible study. And I will Pull that over. I think we're taking a break from Bible study. Like our group isn't going to meet throughout the whole month of December, which honestly I'm kind of bummed about. <laughs> I know people get busy and stuff like that, but our last group didn't do that. Like we met through all that. Um, and so I'm a little bummed that we're not going to be meeting, but I really, really love this group. Um, I've met some really great people that like our kids are friends now and stuff. And um, so I feel like that's been really good. Okay, so Bible study. And then we'll go ahead and copy and paste that. And I'm just going to, like, try to center that below the Taekwondo as much as I can. I don't know if we're meeting the Tuesday after Thanksgiving or not, but I'm gonna put it in just in case, cause I, could, I can't remember what they said. I can't remember if they said like just December or right after Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, so we'll see about that. And then we have church on Saturday at 4 p.m. And I like to use a little pattern label for that just to bring in more of the pattern. I'm gonna go with this lacy type of one here. And then I'm just gonna put in church at 4 p.m. We had to miss the last two weeks because of all this sickness going on. And I, my week like just does not feel right without going to church. So I'm really hoping that we can get back. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna like bring these down. We really try to keep our weekends free as much as we can. Cause it's just a time for us to like reset and go do fun things with the kids and stuff. So really it's just church. And then Sunday we try to like not do anything at all. Cause that's sort of like our reset day. Although we did not reset like anything. Yesterday we're behind. And we've realized like how important those resets day reset days are to us because the week just goes by goes so much smoother when you know we're doing that. So I think for the new releases, I'm gonna pull over this glitter one because it's kind of like celebratory. And this is gonna be the new reveal for the 2023 one month planners. It's going to be the um January, January uh, 2023 kits, which are reformatted. And then, like I said, there's gonna be some extra stuff too. So there is a lot, <laughs> a lot that's gonna be shared that day. 
I am gonna do just one long video based on a poll I did in our Facebook group. It's what a lot of you said you prefer, but I'll put timestamps in it and stuff like that so you guys can really see, um, you know, um, so you can jump around and like see what you wanna see or whatever, so. But yeah, so it's gonna be the 18th, so we're finally sharing the date. <laughs> so exciting. All right, and now all I have to really do is delete this and we'll put some deco in and then the month is done. But do we see how busy? <laughs> so busy, it's crazy. Um, okay, so I love this kit too, by the way, because it's Thanksgiving, but it's not so specific to Thanksgiving that you can really, I mean, this art can be used for so much, like the patterns and stuff can be used for so much. So I definitely want to pull in some leaves. I'm going to kind of shy away from like the, um, the more like Thanksgiving specific stuff. Oh my gosh. Got to use this pumpkin. Pumpkin is so cute. And ooh, some more glitter leaves would be good. Maybe I'll like layer. Um, I don't know, maybe I could like do a couple different leaves across the way. Do like a little, sneeze it's not coming though <laughs> there we go sneeze is out okay and then I feel like I need to make this leaf a little bit smaller um, okay and then what else do I want to do oh, that little chair is really cute oh I don't know I like the like harvest. Maybe I can just put that up here. Or I could do, or should I do like the leaves like they're kind of like falling? Like we could do. Something like this. And then I can move harvest over here. And I could even like copy and paste this whole thing and kind of have it go like even off the page a little bit. I can move this up a little and move that up a little. Not too busy or do we like that <laughs> I think I like that I think that's cute with the falling leaves and like I said we really don't do anything Sundays if I have to I'll take some of the leaves out but I think that looks cute so I think you guys I'm pretty sure that's it for this one so yeah there is the month <laughs> all out of my brain and in my planner thank goodness i'm telling you it's like once i get the budget set up too i feel like i'm gonna feel so much better but oh it's so cute i love it i love that little pumpkin so yeah you can tell our month is going to be absolutely nuts it's going to be so crazy but you know <laughs> that's just how it goes oh and you know what I doubt she's going to have activities. She might have Taekwondo on Wednesday, but I'm going to take, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even mark Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's just, let's just remedy this real quick. So I doubt she's going to have that on Thanksgiving day. I think we're going to my parents' house on Thanksgiving. Um, let's see, 2022 sticker books. And we'll go to kit 47. I don't want to show any mystery kits. 47. Okay. So there's some Thanksgiving ones over here. Um, 
Maybe I will grab this little wreath. Oh yeah, so Julia won't have preschool either that day. So we'll just put the big old wreath there and that'll be really cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> now we're good. Um, we also do have Black Friday um, on that day. So I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that later, but okay, we fixed it. You guys were probably like, why aren't you putting in Thanksgiving? <laughs> but now Thanksgiving's in, we don't have any activities that day. Um, but yeah, so now here is the completed monthly spread. And I feel like the colors are not picking up very good on here, but I will post this on Instagram so you guys can see it there. And I will share it in our Facebook group as well. But I really love how this turned out. I feel like it's really, really cute. So anyways, that is it for this monthly plan with me. I hope you enjoyed setting up my month with me and everything. Let me know what you have going on in the month of November. Are you going to have a busy month like we are? Because <laughs> I mean, this looks, this looks like it's just a lot. It's a lot. But anyways, um, I'm excited though. It's all good things, all fun things. So it'll be good. But anyways, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. Bear with me as I'm getting caught up on videos and kind of getting through this busier season. So yeah, I will see you guys. I believe tomorrow's video is going to be our November budget setup. So stay tuned for that and I will chat with you all later. Bye.